Hi, Renzi. Hey, Sav, how you doing? Uh, this is just a cactus. They call it the Big Pickle. This is kind of my logo to my uh, YouTube channel. You have a YouTube channel? I do. The Mobile Traveler. This is a long story. I'll make it short. He was on my truck camper. This is the door from my truck camper, which was my son's. So I saved the door, and since I had to repaint it, I got to touch up the uh, cactus, which people dub the Big Pickle. So, and it's break time, because I've been on my knees too long. The truck camper that I had had a bunch of uh, cartoons on it, and this is about the only one I have left, so I'm making it look good. The trailer, it's a 1965 Reddale. And it used to be a uh, storage shed. And one of my subscribers had uh, called me up and said happy birthday when they saw a video about the truck camper falling apart. So they gave it to me. And I am remodeling it, bringing it back to life. Come on in. This trailer, like I said, it used to be a storage shed. And it was sitting at a farm in Montrose, Colorado. Since 1995, they've just been using it as a storage shed. And uh, they were subscribers of mine. And they says, uh, like I said, they sent me a text and said, happy birthday, Randy. And I said, well, thank you. And they said, no, happy birthday. And they sent me a picture and they said, if you want it, it's yours. And I'm like, okay, I'll make magic happen. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm trying to refurbish it. Uh, I had to build benches, and yes, I brought it to the van build. And I've been building on it. And I'm kind of stubborn. I ain't letting anybody else touch it. <laughs> so in my spare time, and mostly at night, I got to come in here and work on it. In addition to the work you might be doing helping uh, others? Here? Right, right, right. Yes, in addition to cooking and taking out the trash. Because I am the trash man. <laughs> uh, you, cook, you cook for uh, the crew, the solo crew here? That's I've been uh, cooking for so basically anybody that shows up. I've been cooking for afternoon and, and night. You know. I think you came up one time, didn't you? Yes. Goulash night. That's right. Yes, yes. Uh, among other things, like earlier today, I had to put on a, a, a gal's jacket broke off her big fifth wheel. So I went down there and took it off, and I think I'm the only one that has, that has a 20-ton jack around here. So I had to jack it up and put it, replace it, you know, put a new one on, rewire it. And, uh, I guess that you know, Sev, I've turned into the. I travel to different campsites and fix things that, the little things, that they don't, you know, need to move their rig for. So that's kind of what I do. Is there a group of people you travel with? Yes. Yeah, I travel with uh, people term it the tribe. It's a bunch of YouTubers, you know. Uh, Caravan Carolyn, Pandemonium, Destination Open Road, uh, the Mobile Traveler, the, the King. <laughs> um, I travel with little Mike and Blue Van Dan and just a bunch of people. There's probably 20 of us that travel around. Full time since? Full time. I have been full time for almost two years. Going on two years here pretty quick. A couple and months. I'm loving it. Now, I'm I'm disabled. Uh, it doesn't look like it probably, but I've got multiple sclerosis. MS. And it, I'm trying to show people that you don't have to just live on the couch if you're disabled. You can get out, you can do things. You can see the country. Uh, I'm, I'm on a limited budget. So living in a sticks and bricks house is really tough. You know, it, it's hard to pay that $700 a month income. Or, or even $300 is hard, you know. But I found that living like this, I can do it. And I can eat. I can see the country. I've never been to Parker, Arizona before, and I love it. Uh, I also show people that 
you don't have to sit on the couch like I said you can get out and you can do things as far as hiking even though you only go a half a block you're still doing it uh, most time I wear uh, flip-flops and you don't have to do that I don't uh, I don't say you do that I just do it because that's me um, I got a saying and I try to live by it don't live to die you live to live and that's what I'm doing I'm living to live uh, <laughs> kind of funny but my son he was 22 years old and he passed away and he taught me that Preston taught me that you gotta live to live dad and so he's here and we're doing this together this is what he wanted to do so that's what we're doing we're living to live if you can hear that I have his dog outside <laughs> he's rather rambunctious names Ace the Wonder Dog because you wonder what he's good for <laughs> And I traveled with his truck. I had his truck camper for a while, but that camper kind of fell apart. Uh, it was old like this one is, and those things only, they're only good for so many years. And it was 48 years old, it was time to fall apart. Kind of like us, we fall apart. Um, it, that's my philosophy, live to live, people. Don't sit on the couch and be a frump -a lump that's, that's the word I use. I tried to get here last year, but it just, things didn't work out. So this is the first van bill I've been at. So, and it's, uh, it's amazing to watch people work together. Some of these people don't know each other. They just met here. I've met, oh, I don't know how many hundreds of people. And it's fantastic. They just work together. If I need somebody to hand me a screwdriver, all of a sudden there's a screwdriver. And I'm like, oh, thanks. My name's Randy. <laughs> you know? It's just amazing what Jamie has put together here. I mean, I don't know how many people are here last, this year, but I heard it's quite quite a lot bigger than last year. And what is this, the third one, I think? Yeah. And yet one. it runs uh, very smoothly. Yeah. Not, not like a, it's not fine-tuned, but it's pretty darn smooth. You know, the way that he's got broke up, like Solar Camp 2 or Solar... What do they call Solar it? Solar Team 2. Solar Team 2, yeah. And 3 and 4, and they got carpenters over here. They got electricians over here. They got a guy welding. Uh, that, yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, he's doing a good job. The spirit is pretty unique. Do you know anything of that, uh, that kind elsewhere? Uh, no, I haven't met any. I have not met the spirit of people out here doing this. Uh, the, the nomadic culture as a whole. I think they're a community. They're they're more as one than anybody else I've met. I like it. I, I like to take it back to like the uh, olden days where a community is a community, where they say it takes the village to raise a child. Well, this village is right here, you know. So that that's I, I love it. Values as a whole, yes. You're gonna have your 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 morals and your values are going to be tainted you know but as a whole they're excellent you got your bad apples everywhere you do you know I was a crisis intervention supervising counselor where I worked at before so yeah say that with one breath <laughs> the most valuable things right here that is the community yeah that's what it is to me it's it's it basically all for one and one for all and I love that. I mean, if I need help, people's going to come help me. You know, it, 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 I don't know if you from Adam didn't meet you. You know, didn't meet you till this started. Yes. I consider you a friend, and I know that if I needed you, I'd call up Seth and say, "Hey," and you'd say, "Okay, I'll be right there." You know, that's pretty cool. I'm not going to. My neighbors, I couldn't do that when I was back in mainstream. They'd be like, well, I got to do this, I got to do that, it, it, you know. So they put you off. Here, people don't put you off, you know. Just like that lady's fifth wheel. She needed to get home. She's on the road now. The gal over here in the tent, she couldn't get up. She's handicapped. Well, I knew how to get her up. 
So I got her up. She got to the. She had to go to the hospital yesterday. It, it, that's just what we do. I love that. It, it, that's the best part. Great. Yep. Oh, and another thing. The great thing about this life, people, is if you don't like where you're at, you can leave. Love one another if you can. If you can't, drive away. I want to tell you about this here. Yes. I was talking about how people pay it forward in this community. Those solar panels, they actually came from Jamie himself. How's that? They were actually on Tamara's schoolie that okay. last year was gifted to her. And they work, so he gifted them to me. And I've got two batteries in the back of the car that was also, you know, part of the gift. And these here are two six volt batteries that Jamie also gifted me to run the solar panels. It's a win-win. This community, I love it. It's a family. I can't even say enough. I get I get choked up sometimes. You know, it's just play. This is wonderful. Can't say I love everybody, but you know I try. <laughs> yeah. This is how it works. Meaning, like each and every one somehow finds its own role. Right. Right. You find your own role within the community. You excel at it, and you help everybody. I cook. Hence the clam. I cook for people. I fix things. Jack of all trade, master of none, I guess. It's uh, great to hear your story. I appreciate it, Seth. Yes. Appreciate meeting you, brother.